Hello, hello, dears, and welcome back to the channel Benidorm by Anna, where we share with you a lot of interesting and useful information about Benidorm town and Spain in general. Today, we are in a very unusual place. We are on Algar waterfalls, where you can easily access with a bus directly from Benidorm. Let's go and have a closer look. It's going to be amazing. First and probably the most important question. A lot of people know this place exists, but they're asking, hey, I want to go here. How will I get to this place? Do I need to take a taxi for it? No, it's not necessary. This place, you can come with a rented car, which is one of the options. You have different parking spaces that restaurants offer you, and it's going to be free of charge if you have a um meal at one of those restaurants or if you spend just even a little bit of money on drinks then the parking space will be free of charge for you guys if you don't have a rented car another option is to take a public bus number 18 that goes directly from Benidorm yes from our lovely city of all from Benidorm town we can go with a public bus up until Fons del Algar which you can see right here already this bus number 18 at least for now goes only on weekends which is Saturday and Sunday uh, and there's only one time at a day Look, these are wild uh, bananas growing in here, banana plantation. Uh, this bus goes from early morning at 9.55, starting from La Cala of Finistrat. So it will be in Benidorm, depending on the stop, you will take at around 10, 15, 10, 10, 10, 20, depends. One of the easiest ways is to take it on the Mediterranean Avenue, or if you are in Rincon de Loig, just go to the bus stop near Nereo Hotel. And you will be at Algar Waterfalls around 11.15, which is plenty of time for you to enjoy, have some nice meal, typical Spanish rices, enjoy the nature, fresh air, and get back uh, to Benidorm in the evening. The back trip with the public bus that we have here, number 18, once again, is at 5 p.m. from the entrance of Dino Park, which I'm sure we probably will be able to see here very, very soon. And this is basically on this road as well. So at 5 p.m. you can return back. The trip um, from and to Benidorm, more or less, it's around one hour uh, and 15 minutes but it's a lovely trip where you can see a lot of things also many bars and restaurants do have these type of amazing pools that if you have a snack in there if you eat there have a meal uh, they allow you to use free time without no charges at all extra inside of this lovely swimming pool which is just amazing and there is the entrance towards the dino park you've seen like a dinosaur um, photograph in there uh, which is where the bus basically stops look at this it's early in the morning it's 9 30 right now and there are a lot of cars trying to get to the top where the main entrance to algar waterfalls is uh, here you can also find some shops as you can see where you can buy typical spanish um, things you can also buy hats and specific water boots water shoes uh, how you want to call them to be able to walk down the rocks in the water because it's uh, a rocky type of beach area in case if you want to swim in algar waterfalls what you can also do obviously Ooh, right now it's very difficult see there are cars going both ways and we need to press ourselves into the entrance to one of the houses yikes so that the car would be able to pass obviously not because of us but because of the other cars that are going a different direction but you need to be very careful here because there is a lot of movement of vehicles and people too especially families with children uh, so just be careful with that in general i want to say that you cannot bring oh ooh, look there is another swimming ooh, lovely you cannot bring any kind of food inside of Algar waterfalls 
uh, like sandwiches and you know like food food if you eat some kind of fruit and then you put the rest of it like in a bag then that's fine uh, especially for small children you know but if you bring like proper food for a whole family like a picnic uh, you're not allowed to eat near the water however you can do so if you go to a specific picnic area that they have nearby uh, pre-installed for this occasion uh, in general if you go with a car from Benidorm it will take you around 25 minutes with the bus it's one hour and 15 minutes as we've told you already from Alicante if you travel here by the way this is the main entrance from Alicante it will take you around one hour with a car there is no public bus that would go from Alicante or a train service um, however there are different excursion of vending points which do offer these type of excursions twice a week more or less um, that you can pre-book and they will pick you up at a specific point or at a hotel and then bring you here and pick you up from here too right there you also have some typical shops where you can um, buy typical things from this zone which is everything related to nisperos which are these things right here i'm gonna put it for you here on the screen and the translation as well um this is like chinese prune or something like this um and it's something typical from the area they recollect it throughout many months through the year and they sell it to make nectars to make um liquor as well and different uh, alcohol drinks with it as well as marmalades so they have a lot a lot of it naturally made um here in the shops to buy to bring it with you from your holidays a lot of people that live here in the zone they work with everything related to tourism of fonts de l'algar uh, they make some photos for tourists uh, which you can do here on the entrance well we've seen it already and they work in the restaurants and places, shops, parkings nearby uh, and live also close to here. Even before entering the Algar waterfalls, we can already see some lovely smaller cascades of this river, which is called Algar, obviously. And by the way, this river is the same one that we can see in Altea. Basically, it finishes and goes inside of the Mediterranean Sea in Altea town right here starting from the mountains which is incredible we are heading to buy some entrances right now because obviously it's a paid touristic attraction uh, all the money is used basically to um, maintain this area to make sure that it's safe for people to use that it's clean and um, secure for tourists to come this place has different ticket prices depending on the time of the year. In the peak season, prices are 1 euro more expensive than they usually are in lower seasons. But the best thing is that they are open throughout the whole entire year except for Christmas, New Year and things. Here you can see all the prices for adults, children, smaller children that enter for free and also that you can pay with a credit debit card starting from a euros right we've paid for it already and right now they're putting some bracelets on us uh, these bracelets basically show that you've paid your entrance to go inside and as you can see from early morning there are a lot of people here already which is incredible this here is the main waterfall on our right side we will check it in a second but just look at how many people there are they're doing some maintenance work right now uh, usually there is another bridge which i suppose they're changing this is why they put the uh, provisional one but you need to be really careful here by the way because the rocks are quite slippery uh, so make sure you have a comfy shoes and comfy uh, footwear uh, so that you would be able to explore this area without no issues. And this right here is the main waterfall. You can swim up until there just to make some lovely pictures. Uh, it's not forbidden at all. You just need to be quite careful because the water is really, really cold. Here in Algar waterfalls, the um, average water temperature throughout 
summer and winter. It's more or less the same. It's around 17 and 20 degrees. So even in summer, when outside it's plus 40, we can come to Algar waterfalls and enjoy fresh, clean mountain water. Before it was even considered medicinal water for medicinal purposes uh, to restore the body energy and help you with stress, which definitely sounds like good during these busy and chaotic life that a lot of us are living. There are separate areas in here, different natural pools where you can, where you can actually swim uh, or just walk inside of them. And in some of them, which are only a couple if I'm not wrong, it's permitted to dive in. So basically jump from the cliff downwards because they are quite more um, extensive in depth. Here we have another tiny smaller waterfall and right there we have the mountains of Benido. Even from here you're able to see them. Let's head down the uh, provisional bridge that they have. By the way, here it says that it's a maximum of seven people capacity at once on the bridge. So be careful, read the instructions, they're both in Spanish and English, to avoid unnecessary problems and issues. Uh, by the way, this area, you have a lot of different points of service. First of all, most important one, obviously, it's the first aid in case something happens on the rocks, you twist your ankle, whatever it is, you know, uh, you can get some help in here. Uh, obviously, they have um, water and some drink vending machines on the entrance or exit. They also have shops that sell ice cream and some more snacks. Uh, however, as I said, you're not allowed to eat anywhere in here in the circuit, just at the top of the specific picnic area that is also available for you. Uh, and this area also has um, some touristic information, uh, camping nearby, uh, and some uh, toilets, obviously, for people who are spending the whole entire day here in the nature. We are heading to the top, and I must say that for people who are slightly afraid of heights or uncomfortable with heights, better not to look down um it's slightly um you know disturbing the feeling that we're climbing so so high up in the mountain but obviously we're heading as the natural uh, river line is going which is why we need to go up the hill by the way this circuit is around one and a half kilometers of length uh, so you can walk around it and enjoy the lake Let's continue our climbing up the hill. By the way, in summer, this area is open up until 9, uh, 8 p.m., basically night time. And uh, in winter, they open just up until 3.30. So it depends if it's warm outside or not. You can purchase the tickets online or directly here on the entrance, which is what we did in this case. Um, this area was actually declared a protected humid zone starting from 2002 um, which is obviously protected there is a lot of wildlife uh, in here uh, so all this area is litter garbage free you know they're working really really hard to make this as natural to keep it especially as natural as possible the uh, most problematic probably thing about the Algar waterfalls is the accessibility for mobility issues because as you can see there's a lot of staircase um, in some areas even though it's kind of plain there are still a lot of rocks or at some points it's wider at some points it's not um, so I would dare to say that it's not accessible for wheelchairs sadly they would definitely, I think the next project that they would do is to make it more accessible for people with mobility issues because that would be the best thing they could possibly do to ensure that more and more people will be coming. And this is one of the zones where people are allowed to jump, by the way. 
which is some of them are doing if we're lucky i'll be able to film for you how someone is jumping not a lot of people do that in here i must say but some of them are and the rest of them are just looking at this um interesting moment let's go like this basically it's not a lot of height you know it's not a lot of um uh, meters difference but people are jumping even smaller children are jumping in here there is a life god by the way which comes here once they see that a lot of people are willing to jump uh, and he's making sure that everything is safe uh, you cannot dive with the head down because there are rocks obviously it's a river as you can see so uh, to be safe uh, you need to jump with legs down which is the safest way to do so then it's quite secure a lot of people are coming here to get some nice bath they're even walking with uh with the swimwear perfectly uh, and with the swim shoes you know with the ones that you use inside of the water as you can see um and this is how people spend the day in here the uh temperature here in the forest near the river is also not as high as in a lot of other areas for example, in Benidorm, we might have around 32 degrees right now, or in Alicante, the same 32, 33. But here, near this river and at the waterfalls, we have 26, 27, which is just perfect. It's not hot at all, and we are able to fully enjoy this natural uh, piece of art, this touristic attraction that a lot of people are willing to visit when they come on holidays to our area right there in front we have a few sitting zones as well with benches where you can just sit down and relax enjoy the uh, sound of the water uh, and just spend some quality time with children and at the very end there is one of the main cascades as well plus like the pool natural pool area where a lot of people are going not for swimming i would dare to say because it's not as deep so that you would be able to swim however just walking going towards the waterfall having some natural water massage in the neck and the on the back uh, and basically this is what they're doing however not all of them are going so deep in the water because as i've said the water is quite cool it's just 17 18 degrees in summer but even some small children are heading inside which is amazing just look at the views from here this place is just magical obviously you need to be careful don't come close um, as some people do towards the cascade as it is because the rocks are quite slippery so it might be um, dangerous but apart from that you can fully enjoy the experience here in Albar waterfall and while you walk everywhere you go you will be able to hear a natural sound of water which is just extremely relaxing this is the place to come to uh, take all the stress out during your holidays and feel renewed afterwards here we have um, some of the beach areas as well but you do need to access them through the uh, old water um these are this was done all these conducts were done for the water to pass eventually they've closed it and they've redirected the water uh when, while it's raining you know when there is a lot of rain here in the mountains uh, and this area there are like bridges right now to be able to walk to other parts of algar waterfalls after this cascade there are different areas as well that allow you to have a calm time and especially it's perfect for smaller children because it's not deep at all but once again the most negative point is that here you cannot come with a boogie obviously you need to come with children when you uh, bring them on you and also here look at that it says there is hydroelectric uh, revolution this was a hydro station before uh, it's still like all these structures still here and from here uh, they were basically generating a lot of the energy to be used in this local zone which is just great when you use these type of natural resources this is the beach area calm quiet once again and it's 
very calm water not deep at all uh, not for swimming obviously just to uh, walk around with your feet to have some nice feet massage with the stones uh, just to relax as a lot of people here are doing make sure you bring your towel with you some swimwear and the shoes if you don't have these water shoes there is a shop while going up the hill towards the main entrance where you can buy these ones however obviously if you take them from Benidong Chinese shop or any other Chinese shop it will uh, be way less expensive than if you would uh, buy it here directly at the Algar waterfalls oh there is even a stand where it shows us which kind of animals do you live in here okay a lot of birds Look at that. This is culebra, which is basically like a water snake. Water snake. Oh my god. But my hubby says that these are not attacking people. Uh, they're not interested in people at all. It's scary to see them, I know, but I've never ever seen one here in my life while we were visiting this place throughout the years. Um, last 10 years that I've been living here. So it's quite safe. They might just simply swim by and that's it. But it's not something that you need to be afraid of. Apart from that, just perfect place that I would definitely, definitely recommend you to visit on your holidays here in Spain. Because this is going to be an amazing memory throughout the years. These are the lovely Fons del Algar, famous Algar waterfalls here in the area of Benidorm. Thank you all for coming with us. I hope you enjoyed today's unusual walk down one of the most famous places that you must visit during your holidays here in Benidorm. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you very soon in the new video. Bye!